Hi everyone, George Farmer here, content creator for Tropica Aquarium Plants. This video is all about water changes in your planted aquarium. We will discuss why they are necessary and show you some methods on how to do them. If you enjoy this video, please consider liking and sharing it. And don't forget to subscribe with notifications enabled so you don't miss our regular uploads. And finally, let us know in the comments how much water do you change and how often. The aquarium is known as a closed system. This is very different to something like a river system that has fresh water running through it all of the time. Being a closed system means that any waste produced by the fish, shrimp, snails, bacteria and even plants is allowed to accumulate over time. Now let's talk briefly about the nitrogen cycle. This is the process of bacteria converting the toxic waste products, ammonia and nitrite, into relatively safe nitrate. Over time, this nitrate can build to excess as the fish produce more and more waste. The good news is that healthy aquarium plants use nitrate and other nitrogen compounds as a source of food. So you may be wondering, why do we need to change water at all if the plants are removing the nitrate? Indeed, some hobbyists do advocate a zero water change method, relying on the plants for water purification. However, we find that most planted aquariums thrive better with regular water changes. Tropica usually recommend at least 25% water change every two weeks, with larger and more frequent water changes yielding even better results in our experience. As discussed, all living organisms create waste, including plants, and it is this waste that will accumulate in the aquarium. Water changes simply help to dilute this waste, helping to ensure the aquarium water is fresh and therefore promoting better health for its occupants. Water changes are also useful to prevent any excess buildup of nutrients from adding liquid fertilisers. For example, in this aquarium we add 25 millilitres of Tropica Specialised Nutrition every day to ensure the plants are always well fed. A large weekly water change helps to reset the nutrient levels as well as improving overall health by diluting waste organics. The simplest method for a smaller aquarium is to use a length of hose and siphon the old aquarium water into a bucket. The waste water can then be used to water your house plants or garden or pour down your sink depending on your situation. Once you have siphoned out the appropriate amount of water you can refill with fresh water. I personally like to do 50% water changes every week in most cases. It is important to fill with fresh water it is at the correct temperature to avoid stressing your livestock. Adding a dechlorinator to tap water is also important to remove potentially harmful levels of chlorine and chloramine. For larger aquariums, it is more efficient to directly siphon the old aquarium water out using a long length of hose and an external filter inlet fitting. The inlet sits inside the aquarium and the free end of the hose can be used to water your garden if you have one or allowed to drain into your toilet if you live in an apartment, for example. Fresh water can then be pumped direct in from your tap water using a submersible pump and bucket. As the bucket fills with fresh water, it is pumped directly into the aquarium. It is important to ensure the temperature of the fresh water and aquarium water is similar to avoid shocking the livestock and to add a dechlorinator. Our aim is to minimise the accumulation of organic waste so as well as emptying out old water from the aquarium, it is also a great idea to remove any buildup of detritus and waste that has built up in the substrate. Simply wave your hand above the substrate to lift up the waste so it can then be removed as part of the siphoning process. Our final tip is to ensure the water change is always the final part of your aquarium maintenance process. This way any algae or waste that has been dislodged as part of the maintenance process is removed during the water change and thus helps to limit any transmission of algae spores etc. Water changes are a great way to help ensure that your planted aquarium remains healthy. The regular and routine dilution of waste organics helps to reduce the risk of algae as well as promoting overall health in the aquarium livestock. How much water you change and how often depends on your own system but we recommend at least 25% every two weeks for a typical low energy planted tank. If you have more plant growth and more fish, then larger water changes may be required. If in doubt, change more water, not less. Please let us know in the comments all about your water change schedules. Take care. Bye bye.